Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hope the new year is uh, treating you well. In this video, we're going to cover two main things. Uh, number one is the hanger. I want to give you guys a good update on what we've been doing. Been working on that a ton and uh, things are coming along. And the second part is I built a couple of new runways, um, short runways, actually over by the hangar. And I'll show you why I did that and the process of building them and then uh, testing them out. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so I've been working on the hanger a lot with Dad over the last probably three weeks. We put all the metal on the roof, is done. He's putting a cap piece on that goes up in the, the top up there to seal off that top seam where all the metal meets. But uh, yeah, we got all the metal on. I'll show you that in a second on the outside. What I've been working on the last two days is uh, reinforcing these steel trusses that are in here. So. So anyway, that second piece you see there going across, these longer pieces, those are what we just added in. Um, they're big, heavy-duty uh, angle iron pieces that we cut to fit in there. They're attached in a better spot. And so I've been welding for two days. Well, not really. I mean, two half days probably worth of welding. I did some welding up in these joints up here on a couple of these trusses as well. Anyway, but well, what we did is we actually heated up this piece, weld it on one side, and then you heat up this piece with a big torch, get the whole thing good and hot. It grows about almost a quarter inch, and then we weld it on, and that's what puts it under tension, so it takes the load off that upper one because this upper one up here is not as tough, and we were worried about, like, a snow load on the roof being too much. Uh, we're getting there, so... The sides are not quite all done. The ends um, up top are not closed in, but this side and the big long side on the, uh, on the far side of the building are completely closed up with wood. And so it's almost closed in. Now I'm just up here putting up some boxes for the lights over here in this section. We're working on some of that. So get some lights in there. I'm going to put in, put in two more on either side. it will be eight in each one of these bays, which is pretty good. Doing a little clean up here. Uh, we just poured the uh, first footer for the door here. And uh, got to do that one over there next. Uh, we're just kind of getting close here on the second one. I've been mixing and he's been dumping it in. This one is uh, pretty well set up. It ain't perfectly screeded off or anything, but it's good enough for what it is. This one came out pretty good. We did a little bit better than the first one, maybe. We'll see. It's got some lines you can see on camera, but they don't really show up too bad, I don't think. All right, so we got them both done. Now we're doing repile up wood. We're going to make a little barrier here where we can... Uh, cover this with foam and tarps and wood and all kinds of stuff to keep it from freezing it's gonna get down to it's not too bad tonight it's gonna get down to 22 and uh the the reaction of the concrete setting up actually does make some heat and then of course the ground as you get down deeper is a lot warmer than that so if we can insulate over the top of this it won't freeze well it's started snowing uh <laughs> so I wish it would hold off on that for a little bit. We still got to cover this one. I got this one done. It's it's covered in foam, tarp, all kinds of stuff. So it should be okay. But uh, yeah, we got to hurry up and get this one done because that wind wind's getting pretty cold. Now I got to say we're getting this done just in time. <laughs> yeah.
just letting her warm up. So we got her fixed and uh, it uh, turned out it was some simple stuff. There was something with the uh, priority flow divider we had to mess with because it has two, uh, it actually has two pumps to run the steering. And then it was, it was a little low on fluid too. So topped it off, put a little hydraulic fluid in it, needed some there, put a little transmission fluid in it, it was a little low there. Just needed a little love. But uh, she's working good now, so I worked at some last night, and I'm going to take it out and work some more since I'm building, like, multiple short runways, you know. But anyway, it does a pretty good job, as you can see here. I'm starting to clean that up pretty nice. i got to fill in a ditch here. I can extend this out. It, uh, since it goes under the power lines, I want a little distance on either side so I don't have any trouble getting down before I cross under the lines. So here's what that drag actually looks like. Um, I helped build this quite a few years back. And uh, man, this thing's done really well and held up well and it, it, it works pretty good. It's pretty heavy, those big I-beams on there. So pretty sweet deal, you know, just for some backyard uh, ingenuity there. Anyway, all right, we're warmed up, finished fueling, uh, we're gonna get after it. Well, I'm broke down again here, but not too big a deal this time. Fuel hose right here exploded out through the side. Started watering the whole thing down with diesel, but uh, no big deal. Um, just got to put a new line on it. That hose is just not up to the task. And uh, this thing does build a little bit of pressure with this fuel pump we got on here. So anyway, it's just pressurizing the rack, but it, it has a return, but it does make some pressure. So... I'm gonna put a better hose on it and probably that'll hopefully not happen anymore and we'll be back up and running but man it's going good and carving out another runway here this one goes up the hill it's uh over here and it's it's going up the hill up to there somewhere and uh that's that's facing southwest uh kind of a west southwest a little more west than i'd like most of our winds out of the southwest is kind of coming this way or the south but uh between all these different runways, you know, I've, <laughs> I've covered. All right, so I got those runways graded out, made like three different ones. Uh, a couple of them are on a hill. One goes under the power lines. They all kind of have their challenges, but they're um, super close to the hangar, and that was the reason I did that. Uh, I wanted to have something just close. I can just pop out the door and, and go. And uh, the main runway is actually a, a fair amount of ways away, and so... I'll have to grade in a path to get up there eventually in case I want to use it, but it, it's surprisingly long uh, and far away. So, you know, 90% of the time or 99% or of the time, I'll just end up using one of these short runways and it'd just be a lot easier and quicker. But uh, I'm going to go grab the plane and we're going to run over there and test a couple of them out. Just, you know, see what uh, see what we got.
so we're, it's garage door day and uh, the, the, the cement survived. It's been a week and uh, it came out good, survived the cold. So that's, that's a plus. But anyway, we're laying out the doors and uh, I kind of hate this. You know, you don't do this kind of stuff enough. So every time you go to do it, it's like a new learning experience. I throw up these doors and then that's it. I can actually move in after that, essentially. Um, we got the lights done in this section. There's 30 of them and uh, you pretty much need your sunglasses. So that's awesome. Okay, and well, and after a day and a half of <laughs> fighting with this, we got one door up. So it ended up being a nightmare, which is typical of everything we go to do because it's always non-standard to build all this plating and shim all this stuff along the sides and do all kinds of stuff to get everything right. And that took, you know, over half a day. Uh, and then the door went up fairly well. We did run into some issues with just some screwy stuff. These doors, you know, it doesn't matter what you buy. They're just junk. For some reason, these ones weren't lined up, so I had to move the brackets, whereas the rest, everything lined up fine. And it isn't that these panels are shifted, the ends down there, it's all flush. It's just, it was a half inch off on just two of them because it's built in China, I guess. But anyway, um, it's done, got the spring tension set, took a couple tries to get it right. And uh, we move on to the other one, but what a, what a mess. And after a day and a half, we did plate all this one in and shim it all out too. So at least it's ready to just put the door up. So it will go faster now, but. Uh, that was a lot of work, but uh, here they are. They're up. Now we don't have the big door on. And like I said before, we're gonna go without it for a while because when the air, air can't blow through and get out somewhere else, it'll keep the snow from blowing in too bad. You know, it could pile up a little bit around the door area, but not in the back of the building. So I can get by like that for a little bit. Come on. Ah. up a pile of dirt because I got to move some dirt on the inside we got to put a little dirt in to level it before we can put the rock in you know which is the final thing so uh, the ground isn't really frozen yet even though it doesn't look too nice out that's why I'm doing it now because the storm's blowing in it's gonna get worse and I don't want to get stuck with frozen ground and I can't get any dirt in there and get this project done so I dug some up and I'm gonna move it in just inside the hangar to where we can get to it and work inside. that dirt you know and I'm 
I scraped up what was on the ground here because it was nasty and had grass in it and stuff. Scraped all that up, threw it outside. Now I'm putting the better dirt in and trying to scrape around and level it and sort of fill it in. And you know, we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, we got some rock. We worked on leveling this for hours. It's not perfect, but it isn't bad. And uh, so we're gonna start putting some rock in. So this is kind of funny. I was getting ready to film something. The air compressor popped on, but this is funny. If you see what Dad did here, he added this intermediate pulley to slow down the air compressor, so it pumps slower, which seems kind of counterproductive, but. It, it, it lets it start in super cold weather. It doesn't have any trouble starting up, whereas, I, you know, a lot, a lot of these compressors, you know, they won't, they'll, they'll kick the breaker off if they try to run in cold weather. And it doesn't produce as much heat in the summer. And sure, it pumps a little slower, but it just makes the whole thing like last so much longer. So it's just kind of a cool little thing he did. When we finally do get this rocked in, we're gonna put some uh, carpets down because this rock, it's pretty cool stuff. You lay it in here pretty thick and then you water it really good and it actually like packs down. It kind of hardens a little bit like cement. I mean, obviously not like cement, but a little bit of that effect. And so when you get it, um, you get it kind of hardened up, it's good for walking on, working on, but you still can't like roll like a work cart with the little hard wheels or something. That's still gonna kind of dig in unless you pack it really hard. So put some of these carpets on there and then you can roll, you can roll workbenches over. All right, so what we have here is a, dad buried this ahead of time. It's an old chain, big heavy duty chain hooked to a, like a dead man down under there so you can't pull it out. And uh, the idea was they would need to tie something down to the ground there it is gonna we got a plate to go over and some stuff so it's kind of out of the way and i'm working on that now yeah that's working good all right uh this is kind of exciting <laughs> it's kind of silly but it's kind of exciting i'm waiting for a ride uh to give me a ride to go over to my old hangar and pick up the airplane and take it down here and put it in the new hangar so that's a pretty big deal hangar is far from finished as you can even see from here but, you know, we, as you've seen in the video, we've been working enough to get that area uh, set up enough that I can start operating here at home. And that's a big, exciting moment because even though I've had this runway at home and I've landed here hundreds of times and now I've got the new runways over on the hill I've been landing on, I've never, you know, had my airplane based at home. And uh, that really is the dream, you know, and so many uh, folks are not lucky enough to ever have that happen and for me to be able to do that is very exciting so i'm gonna go grab it make the three minute flight over here i'm actually gonna go fly around a little bit just to get the oil up the temp and then come in here and land so it'd be pretty cool <laughs> That is pretty exciting to have that in my home hangar after all these years working on this hangar and trying to make this happen, you know. Well, we just finished the second load of gravel, brought it in, leveled it out. And uh, so this area is officially done. Well, sort of. This area is basically done as far as, you know, big heavy work goes. Uh, everything else you can work around the airplane, put up a couple shelves, organize. I still got a lot of stuff to do there. But you get the idea. So I'm gonna lay out my carpets. 
stuff the airplane in here and start operating out of here. I think I'm gonna do a little flying tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and kind of use this whole setup for the first official, you know, time, I guess you could say. Well, even though we technically have a long ways to go in the hangar, it's pretty exciting, you guys, to get that in there. Feels pretty good. And just, you know, having it safer, it's always worried about somebody breaking in, stealing tools or trying to steal the airplane or hurting it. We've had some trouble at that airport and all the little airports around here. So really feels good to have it at home where it's safe. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I know it got kind of long, but I also know some of you guys have told me that you really enjoy more of like the hangar and the shop building stuff and just, you know, some of the other aspects that kind of go into flying. I got some other fun stuff coming up. I just got to get some time to edit it, but uh, did a little flying the other day, landed on a little frozen lake and uh, got to do some donuts on it, kind of slide around. Nothing crazy, but it was it was pretty fun. Cool spot. You guys know the deal. Thanks a lot for being here, for supporting the channel, uh, Patreon. You guys are the best and you are making the difference and uh, appreciate that. Um, if you guys want to join, here's the link right here. But uh, everybody else, just please subscribe if you have not and really appreciate that. And yeah, stick around and more to come and all that good stuff. You guys know the deal. Take care. See you on the next one.